Um, as a follow-up to yesterday's notice that went out regarding the ransomware attack, uh, yesterday we were made aware that the group responsible for the May ransomware attack shared 18,938 files via the dark web. After reviewing a sample of the files posted, the files were online police reports and employee files. Um, out of these samplings, we did not see police citations. While we're still investigating, some of the files contain personally identifiable information such as name, date of birth, address, and driver's license. As we commented yesterday, out of an abundance of caution, residents who have interactions with the city prior to May 8th are asked to monitor their financial accounts and credit reports, get with their credit and debit card companies and consider issuing a fraud alert make use of their financial institutions credit monitoring services and to take extra security measures residents can call all three major credit bureaus and ask to freeze their credit which are equifax experian and transunion the city's incident response team and federal authorities are continuing to investigate the data breach and monitor any information being shared Following the ransomware attack, the city's main priority has been to restore critical resources and mission essential functions, which include public facing systems, internal communications, and network access. Business recovery teams continue the restoration and validation of business systems within the city. As a part of the restoration effort, the city has implemented additional security measures and increased monitoring to further protect citizens' data from future attacks. I want to thank the citizens of Tulsa and our disaster and business recovery teams, as well as the IT staff for their extraordinary work in restoring access to many of the forward facing and critical infrastructure systems. As a note to citizens of things that they can do to help prevent this type of behavior or this type of action on their uh, own accounts, uh, they should avoid opening emails from people they don't know clicking on links inside of emails from people they don't know or clicking attachments from people that they don't know. 